Hey y'all, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Okay, y'all. Hey, y'all. So, my name is Akaya. If y'all don't know, now you know. Here I am. Today, y'all, we gonna do um what the brain to boot camp, right? Because people keep asking me um what the brain, what the brain. I did a video on what I did brain, but it's stuff that I like now that I've gone through it, and it's been a year, like a year today. I will still be in boot camp right now. Things that I know now that you can bring or like you shouldn't bring or like blah, blah, blah. Like I learned some shit, basically. Okay. So, number one, y'all. It says phone, charger, Apple Watch, iPad, AirPods. So, you can bring all those things. I brought all that except the iPad. I bought it after school. But you can still bring it, y'all. And I said this because like, so you won't put all your belongings in a box and they're gonna store it and then whenever you're whenever you graduate they're gonna give you a box back and all your shits in there so it's a risk so it kind of because i mean don't just put like your shit at the bottom like kind of like wrap it in your clothes or whatever so it don't break but nobody's gonna store your stuff it's taped up it's put in the storage and they're gonna bring that shit back to you and yeah and i say bring all this stuff also because for people that I mean, stuff, things happen, and if you don't have nobody to come to graduation and bring these things for you, you already have it. Boom, you're good. You can bring, you know, you can bring everything. You're just going to have to put that shit in the box. And then when you graduate, get your shit back, and that's just that. So, or you can wait till you graduate, and then your family can bring in stuff for you. But I just wanted to take mine, just in case you don't know anything can happen, flights, da da da, da. So, yeah. Also, bring um a notebook. It don't have to be big. It can be big, but like a little notebook, I, like a little pad, palm pallet thing that you can put address, phone numbers, things like that in it because you do get the, um, you get phone calls and stuff and you can't have your phone and be like, oh, I don't know this person's number. Let me look. No, your phone's gone, baby. So I suggest writing it down and also you're allowed to write letters like every day and you can get letters all the time. And yeah, you don't know, you won't need to know people's address. So I say, you know, write people's addresses down so that and they're gonna give you notebook paper they're gonna give you um um stamps and everything they're gonna give you pens they're gonna give you all that book you know, so you don't really gotta worry about that okay i just want to put a disclaimer out y'all there is a store you'll go to at least twice a week yes there is a store it's called the next nex and they have hella shit in there y'all and yeah so keep that in mind before you go pack this shit because and then when you first get there it's gonna be like in a little baggy thing little laundry bag and it's gonna be they're gonna give you everything from notebook paper to panties to toothpaste and toothbrushes they give you like hella shit in there so it's just like and you got this liberty ass a and b drawer it's like i'll say as big as a cereal box baby i'll say the family size cereal box it's gonna be as big as that but yeah so keep that in mind if when you're gonna bring stuff that i'm at the list like the actual things i feel like i'll say travel size like if you're gonna bring like some dove soap bring a travel size one i don't know like if it's something that you want that's like special that works for you bring it let me let me just keep going on <laughs> y'all i'm getting like beside myself okay hold on oh another disclaimer y'all so you're gonna be able to your family's gonna be able to send you um packages so what i did if you watch the video I've got, I bought like travel size containers and I filled like my special shampoo up cause they have like shampoo and stuff, but it's like, you know, suave and like, you know, stuff like that. I don't really remember, but it wasn't really getting my eye. So I just like bought like the little things, the travel size one and I filled it up and I just told my mama like every two weeks, just make another one and send it to me. So that's, you can do that. You can clearly do that. So if you go to the store and they don't have what you like, just tell your parents or whoever, you know can you send this to me but do it in a travel size so it can fit in the drawer and yes so, okay so you got hair products shampoo conditioner scarf bonnet ponytails bobby pins brush in a comb etc y'all you can bring all that i brought all that yeah i brought all that and it fit yeah so also this is per rdc per rdc meaning that 
everybody might not be able to do this it's based on your rdc flat arms and blow dryers and hot combs my rdc allowed us to have this girl had a blow dryer and a flat iron and she asked can like her mom mail that to her and she was like as long as it fit in your AB drawer it fit in the AB drawer and she had it she had the blow dryer she had the um the flat iron so eggs just eggs don't bring this shit with y'all y'all because they're probably gonna tell you i mean you can she had like the small you know the one that you use for your baby hairs she had that kind because i don't know why but she had the small kind so i'm not gonna say bring it because they might tell you to leave it i don't know but it's something that you can have per rdc so it depends on your rdc so you can bring it and risk it and if the worst case scenario they're gonna make you put it in the box and take uh um tape it and put it in the box and to go home and to, not to go home but like to get stored until you graduate but our rdc she had it mailed to us and she our rdc let her keep it and yeah also me i'm really good with hair i know how to do hair so i had like the little the straight backs and i asked my rdc can like my mom send me a pack of braiding hair and she said yes as long as we clean up a mess boom so yeah i had a pack of braiding hair sent to me and i fold that shit up Put in AMB drawer. That's what I did. And she let me. So yeah, that's like something that I learned that I didn't know that I could do it. But you know, you never know unless you ask. They say it's better to ask for forgiveness than to ask for permission. But me, I'm asked for permission. Sometimes, most times. Okay, another thing. Soap, shampoo, deodorant, lotion, lip balm. Bring you can bring all that. Just like I said, travel size. Just bring everything travel size, y'all. And like I said, they're going to give you all that stuff and you're going to have time to go to the store. But if it's like Pacific, Suspific, 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 Pacific, you know what I'm trying to say. If it's like Suspific, like a certain brand that you really love and that only works on you, get a container, fill that bitch up, tell your, pam tell your family to send you more like every two weeks or whatever the case may be. Also, face care. I bring my own face care, but... It was travel size, y'all. And so, like, if you have, like, say you got you need CeraVe or Clear and Clean or whatever the hell you need. Like I said, just bring travel size and then you can you can bring it. And I don't remember what kind of face stuff they have, but I swear it's like a regular store, y'all. Like, it's, it's a big-ass regular store. They got shit in it. It don't have a lot of products for, like, you know, us. But, like, they do have stuff. Like, they have got to be glue. They have, like, edge control and shit. But that edge control is, like, the little green one. I'm going to put a picture right here. It's a green one, and that shit will sweat us out. Well, at least the people that I knew. That edge control wasn't really good, so like you can even bring your, your own little edge control little thing. And like I said, have your family see you, send you another one when you're running low. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. Also, this girl had perfume. I don't know how the fuck she did that. I don't know if she asked or she just brought it or she got it sent to her, but she had perfume and she would like be giving us some. Yeah. So bring the little thing of perfume. I don't know if they might let you. They might. They might not. I don't know. Per RDC. I don't know, baby. It's, it's all up to them. Um, You can also bring makeup. Just bring, like, a couple things. Like, eyeliner. Or, what's the thing that goes like this? Mascara. Like, what's this thing? Eye pack. Eye shadow. And, like, concealer or whatever the hell y'all be using. Um, Because when you take your pictures and when y'all do graduation, they let you, they let you wear it. And they didn't even, I, I took clear lip gloss and she didn't let me use it. So get some, um, some Carmex because Carmex still look glossy and it still keep you, you know, it's still moisturizing and it keep you glossy, but she didn't let us use our, um, our lip gloss until like it was either pictures or it was, um, graduation. If you do too fucking much, I think you finna do a whole face beat, baby, you got another motherfucker thing coming. But the whole point is for you to realize that you don't need all that shit. Like when you're on the ship. It's gonna be times the store is empty, you don't got nothing, y'all run out of supplies, y'all waiting on replenishments, and y'all just don't really have nothing. And y'all just need to focus on the word. Don't focus on how you look. But I know we girls, and you know, nowadays we very feel me. Yeah. So it's like just don't you can do it, but don't do too much. You know what I'm saying? Like just don't do too much. That's all they be trying to say, like, bitch. Don't be, don't do all that. You know what I'm saying? And don't have that attitude like, oh, I need this, then, then. Because they're going to break you down, baby. They ain't going to let you do nothing. They just going to make you feel so ugly. Also, you can bring a wallet. I think that's self-explanatory. 
and you can put that you take that with you you don't have to put it in the box if you don't want to i know some people put those in the box i kept mine with me and it had my cards and like a little money and stuff like in the beginning it's called p days it, they're gonna have like people come to you from like different banks and stuff and you can like like what is it called like, when you join a bank you can like join the bank like become a bank member or whatever. Like me, I never had Navy Federal until I went to boot camp and I signed up for Navy Federal. Then they gave me my card and my Navy checks goes to Navy Federal. But I know people that have like Bank of America or whatever and they want their checks, their Navy checks to go to their own, you know, bank, whatever bank they had and they didn't want Navy Federal. So, you know, just you can just bring your card because when you go to the next, you're going to need to, you know, spend your money. Like they're not going to give you money for free. Like. The first time they give you like two hundred fifty dollars on like this little card, but it's not free. That come at your paycheck. You just don't know it. You don't see it. But yeah, but eventually when you start going to the store, they're gonna you gonna have your own, you know, your own fucking card. So just bring your card. You know, it's not it's not that big a deal. Also, get a black military watch. You can't have Apple Watch. You can't have nothing that's like electronics. But you can get like I'm gonna send a picture right here because I don't know if y'all know what I'm talking about. Cause I ain't know what people was talking about. It's like a combat watch or something, like a hiker's watch. And it has like the time. It has like um, you could put the um, alarm on there. It got like a little flashlight on there. That's the one I had. And yeah, it just put in military time so you can like know it or whatever. And yeah, that's what I had. Um, the sailor starters book thingy. I forgot what it's called. Like the the sailor starter book. You need to bring that because when y'all in P days and y'all in Pearl Harbor, y'all just gonna be sitting around. They're gonna expect y'all to be studying, you know, your general your eleven general orders, the chain of command, record recognition, all that. So it's in that book, literally. It's in that book. And also like the the alphabet. Also the Sailor's Creek and the um, RTC maximum, all that. And it's all in that book and you just have it and y'all can be questioning each other and stuff. So bring that too. Also earrings. The the thing has changed. You see how it had these little earrings things? At first, it was like the little silver pearl thing. And we only could wear those. But we couldn't wear them in boot camp. We had to wait until we graduated or took pictures to put them on. So you can really wait until you get to boot camp. Because they have them um, at the store. You can buy them. They're like $15 or something. And you can buy them there. Or you can just bring your own. I don't know if you can wear these at boot camp because it just changed. So I don't know. Like I don't know. I'll say just bring like one pair just in case. But if not, you can just go to the store and buy it. But yeah, y'all, this is just some stuff now that I know that you could have brought. And also, what I already knew you could bring, but it's just, I'm still telling you because y'all still asking me. So it's like, I'm going to tell you again. And I'll make another one if you keep asking me again. Whatever helps, y'all. Because sometimes I need stuff told me to me a couple times. Ain't nothing wrong with that. But yeah, y'all, so that's the end. I'm trying to think, like, you don't need to bring no clothes, just bring what you have on your body. They give you panties and bras and socks, and they're going to they gonna give you what the fuck they want you to wear anyway. So you can't even bring it on because they're not going to let you wear that. They want you to wear what the fuck they want you to wear. They want everybody to look the same. They're going to they gonna give you towels and wash rags, and when you go to the store, you can buy loofahs. They're going to give you shower shoes, so you don't need to bring no Crocs or nothing. I don't even think they will let you do that. Because boot camp's all about everybody looking like the fucking same. They want y'all to understand that it, it's not just you no more. It's all y'all. So, they're not going to let you bring that shit anyways. And, yeah. Everything's going to be supplied for you. But it's just, like, a couple things. It's really not much that you need for boot camp. Like, they're going to give you everything. It's, like I said, it's just things that, like, specific, Pacific thing. Whatever the fuck that word is. It's, like, certain things that you want. If you just, if you can adapt and you can, like, you know, it's whatever. They don't give me toothpaste, okay? That's fine. But if you got like some special fucking toothpaste or some shit, I don't know. Bring it, I guess. I don't know. Also, people always ask me, like, can you have braces? I don't think you, you can't have braces in boot camp. But I know people that have like a retainer, so you can't wear it during the day, but they be putting it in at night. I don't know if that's allowed, but how can you tell me I can't put my retainers in my house? Like, that's weird. But they did. Also, with belly piercings and stuff, you have to take that shit out. But I know people that took theirs out and i know people that took it out for like the, the time being but then like when they noticed that like the, oh we're not going to medical and stuff they just put that shit back in and they, they was wearing it i mean how they gonna know they gonna tell you to take your clothes off no so yeah you can keep your piercings in i think your belly piercing now with your nose and your ears and things they let the they let them bring the little i guess it's like like silver or like plastic kind of looking clear 
things and they put them in their nose so you can if you look super close you can tell they got a piercing but they just let them put it in and it just looks like nothing's there they didn't they didn't do it for the ears but i know this girl she had like a little whatever the fuck this thing called and she had like two little things like to keep the the hole open or whatever yeah so i hope y'all like this video i hope y'all learned some stuff and yeah if you finna go to boot camp um i pray i wish you the best yeah y'all got this don't stress too much about what to bring and stuff more so focus on like your um what you need to know like the 11 general orders and stuff all this stuff i was stressing i wasn't stressing but i was worried about this stuff more than that stuff i was just like well what do i need to bring this then the third also razors i don't know if you can bring razors i'll say bring like two bring bring your best bitch out oh nair this girl had nair y'all yeah she brought she brought i don't know if she brought it or she got it sent to her but she had nair like yeah but also at the um store like i said i don't know if they have nair there but they do have razors so you can like you know get yourself together it don't but this girl did have nair i don't know if she got a scent or if she got a meal but yeah she had nair i hope you like this video make sure you like comment and subscribe y'all again my name is nakaya i'm in the navy who y'all and yeah make sure you come back you know comment anything below if you have any more questions or whatever the case may be and yeah bye